1892, a song made by a British songwriter by the name of Harry Dockray wrote a song named Daisy Bell, Bicycle Bill for Two. The song consisted of one famous line that most people would know of. The song, Daisy Daisy, or Bicycle Bill for Two, was based off of when Harry brought a bicycle back into the United States from not living there from London, and was forced to pay import duty, or taxes, that we know of. When Harry was in the United States, his friend William Jerome told him, It's lucky for you, you didn't bring a bicycle bill for two, otherwise you'd have to pay double duty. The phrase, a bicycle bill for two, stuck with Harry so much that he decided to write a song with the phrase. The song was first sang by Katie Lawrence in London, but later sung in the United States by Antonio Pastor. The song was recorded and released by Dan W. Quinn in 1893, also later sung by Edward M. Fopper, recorded by the Edison Phonograph Company on a brown wax cylinder in 1894. Well, that was more of less the history of the song, but now let's get to the iconic clip of this song that most of us know of. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. From that audio, we can all say we've seen it somewhere, either on a creepy TikTok or maybe just in one of those weird nostalgic videos or maybe uh, weird core type music. We'll talk about then. We'll talk about that in another video. But um, with this uh, clip, uh, this was recorded on an IBM 704 in 1962. The IBM 704 was a supercomputer built in 1954. This computer was the only thing that could handle complex math at the time. The 704 didn't just use math, but it could also use 36-bit binary words. With the upgraded IBM 701 built in 1952 to the IBM 704 built in 1954, the machines had huge upgrades, such as the architecture and implementation. The entire process from the 701 to the 704 was a huge step up. And going to the main part of this, um, John Kelly, a scientist who worked at Bell Labs, created history in 1962 as he used the IBM 704 to synthesize speech. Kelly's voice recorder synthesized her vocoder. With the vocoder, there were many tests before Daisy's bills, such as... Ladies and gentlemen, he saw the cat. He saw the cat. He saw the cat. Mr. Watson, come here. I want you... to be or not to be. That is the question. Now that may be the end of the toll for the 1962 road of Daisy Spell, um, but where has this led into later today time? Well, Arthur C. Clarke, an American uh, science fiction writer, was coincidentally visiting his friend and colleague John Pierce at Bell Labs during the time of Kelly's performance. Uh, Clarke found this incredible that six years later he wrote A Space Odyssey in 1968, where in the book, or the later 2001 feature film, he had this computer named HAL 9000 sing this song in its deactivation stage. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to I'm a crazy all for the love Like a 
and so forth. There you go. The song would later be used in nursery rhymes and also in an album called The Gay 90s where Tyler, the creator, would cover the song. I'm not going to show it in here, but I'll leave it down in the link in the description. I will also leave all my sources and all my links of where I got all this information. I have been fortunate, and you just watched the history.